Alright, we're going to get started here by signing up to wordpress.com. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do everything in Zeno Poster. Um, I'm especially going to show you how to do spin text. So first thing I'm going to do is just sign up here. I'm going to type everything in just so that you'll see how to do it manually at first. And then when we go into our template editor, we're going to take uh, titles and stuff that we have in files. You can set a password through random numbers where you can pull it from a file if you want to. I usually pull it from a file. Um, it just makes it easier. But I'm going to show you how to do it with random numbers here. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight the box and your password, the value for it will be over there in the element properties. Take that, put it into confirm password, type in your email address, or you could use, like I said, you can use a, a file and just pull the email from a file. I'm just going to type it in here. So. Make sure everything goes through all right. And it looks like it has, so we're going to do the email processing again just so we can see how to do it. I've already done a video on this, but we'll do it again just to show you. Uh, I'd like to use in Gmail. Um, it displays messages real good and you can also make sure that you, nothing goes into your spam folder by putting a filter in there. So here we're going to receive the messages. We're looking for the one from WordPress. Click on it then you're going to try to find something in the email that is special to WordPress. So um, usually from WordPress.com will come into your from the from address and um, that's good enough to search for so I also need to click over on text or HTML whichever one will give you the activation link so we're going to highlight wordpress.com and you'll have to control C to copy it and paste it up there in your regular expression for determining the required message and you want to highlight the whole message just make sure your regular expression is going to work copy it over into the regu regular expression builder and then we're going to look for that special line, that link and we'll copy whatever part of it is common to all the activation links from WordPress and we'll check the regular expression, make sure it works copy that regular expression back over into the email processing and you're going to parse the message to make sure that you get the right link and before you do that need to copy it and control C again because you're going to need it in the next couple steps so we'll add the step in go back over here and go to our template editor move everything around it makes it a lot easier if you have everything in order at least that's the way I like it Alright, so we got our email confirmation there. Um, we're going to go back now and take that link that we copied in the email. We're going to parse the message. Put it back into the action recording on the web page because that's the link that is going to activate our account. Put it in there and I'll show you in a little bit how to take that out of the, in the template editor. So whatever message comes in will, will work for your activation. Now let's log in with our username and password that we set up. And again, in the template editor, we're going to take this value here and we'll pull it out of a result and put it in here so you don't have to type it in because you're not going to be able to do that when you're running it through Xeno Poster, especially if you're creating a lot of accounts. So I'm just pulling the password and Control V to paste it in. Let's log in real quick. And we'll be in our blog here in a minute. So let's clean up the blog like you would usually do. Even if you were hosting it on your own account, you want to get rid of the Hello World post. So 
trash at real quick. It's the only post in there, so that it'll be the only trash link in the dashboard. Then we're going to add a new post. And we'll type, type in whatever title you want. Now I, I'll show you in the second video how to pull this title from a file because you might be able to use spin tax in here or if you have something set up already like I have titles, 20 or 30 titles that I would use for different websites. Now here we're going to do spin tax. So I've already set up a file. You go to strings processing, click spin tax. And then here's your, where you put your spin tax string at. And I have a file, like I said, that I've already made. I just made it real quick. In the best spinner, just to give you an idea of what to do. Here's the article. Now, it's not formatted or anything, but like I said, this is just to give you an idea of how to use the spin tax function. So you're going to paste that in there. And hit set up and OK, and your article will be pasted in there, your spun article. Um, then all you got to do is just publish it. Um, you can also pull in, if you have a list of keywords in a file, you can put those in here um, under your tags. Um, add category, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just going to publish this so we can head on down the road and show you what you're going to do here now. Alright, it's published. And what you want to do now is you want to click on the link to your blog post. If you look up an address bar, there's your URL for your WordPress blog. You're going to use that here in a little bit. Because if you're running a bunch of these, you'll want the URLs. You could also, if you wanted to, you could click, uh, click on the RSS link here. Get the RSS feed address. Or you can just append it to the end of your blog address. 